Hey fam, it's Mariah, and welcome to Calvary Conversations, where we simplify God's Word to reach today's culture by casting down arguments through real, radical testimonies and biblical conversations. Now let's get started. Welcome to Calvary Conversations. My name is Mariah, and this is our part two video of our time with Austin and Alex and them sharing their love story. So if you haven't watched that video, you guys can go in the description below and check that video out. So now here is part two. Oh, For yeah. couples who are hearing this, you're like, oh my goodness, you guys sound so weird or so yeah. childish. It's like when you do things God w- God's way, even, you can laugh all you want, but there's a blessing. There's mm-hmm. a blessing oh, yeah. involved that other people yeah. can mock, scoff, whatever it's, they want. But It's real easy yeah. to armchair quarterback and tell us, yeah. you know, like, oh, you guys are ridiculous that this is, yeah. like, you know. But while, meanwhile, you know, not to call anybody out, but, like, you, when you yourself are still in sin, having sexual relations with yeah. your your girlfriend or fiance, mm-hmm. especially the fiancés out there. I see it so often yeah. when people get engaged and they're like, oh, yep, this is the ticket to where we can start yeah, having sex I now. No. Mm-hmm. You, you got to start wearing yeah. the ring. Or yeah. people where yeah. they have these long mm-hmm. engagements. I know. Where years. they are um, engaged for like four or five years and they're just waiting for that one day mm-hmm. specifically At like this their five-year mark yeah. or their 10-year mark on this one day that they got mm together way 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 back when um that's just not worth it in god's eye obviously for you to sit down and truly have that relationship with god you would know that that's not how it should be so having those short engagements we we were um engaged for four months and we were like like that that was it like that was plenty for us we're like okay we need to get married like asap and everyone's like is alex pregnant like <laughs> what's going on no. and she was not pregnant, I, was, I was not <laughs> pregnant yes six it months took later. yeah six months later i was pregnant mm, but <laughs> yeah well because yeah. for ryan and i by the time we get married it'll be seven months and i yeah. i'm like man we have to like you're saying we have to be more strict oh, on yeah. our boundaries and i was just telling ryan right now i was like after we're talking to Al- alex i'm like there was like the encouragement I needed to be like, mm-hmm. okay, you need to make sure that this is like, this is game time. Like mm-hmm. you are getting ready for that big day, but there's also an enemy yes. who, which is your opponent so who wants to pull wants. you down. Yeah. He will do anything. And, yeah. and that's where for, for me, it's even the thought life. So you're saying driving alone in a car. Okay. Maybe you're not like having sex, but your your mind, your thoughts mm-hmm. can go, and that's why oh, we yeah. have to even be careful what we talk about. Because yes. you want to start talking about the wedding night or talking about that, and it's we like had that no same problem. Yes, we mm-hmm. did. We were yeah, like, we were sure. like, okay, well, how do we? What, like, what do we want to do afterwards? And we're like, well, yeah. we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. just All even like you said, so much of talking about it was to the point where we're like, okay, too much. I can't, I can't oh talk yeah, about this anymore. yeah. Yeah. I don't want to torture myself. <laughs> exactly. That's the only thing I can say and like explain to people in, especially for someone like me who my number one love language is physical touch. Um, the same boat. It's, it's so like Ryan, he's like, he's like quality time and acts of service mm-hmm. in words. And then there's physical touch. So for me, I'm just like, be by me or hold me. And he's like, Brian, I can't. But when yeah. he gives me that physical, like affection or stuff, it means so much to me. And the Lord's like, but how much better is that going to be when you're married? Like, hold. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen yep. um, Braveheart hold. where they're, like, waiting <laughs> to attack the enemy? And he's like, hold, hold. And that's how I feel right now. And it's it feels the only way the word I always use is torture. It mm-hmm. feels like torture. It is. But yet I hear, um, like, there's this one verse in the Bible, and it talks about, like, a bridegroom after his wedding night or something mm-hmm. like that. Like, how they're just bursting with just excitement and stuff. And that's how we should just be excited for that return. Mm-hmm. The same thing you feel is like, it should feel painful and torturous here until the Lord's yeah. coming. Mm-hmm. So it, marriage is seriously such a picture for people out there of mm-hmm. Christ in the church where it's like, we're, we should be longing to be with him just like you were longing to be with Alex and you with Austin. But at the same time, we need to remember through our Christian walk, the enemy's going to try to pull us oh, yeah. down or get us not 
being that pure bride, like it says, like a church who's pure and spotless. And so you guys had your boundaries. You guys admitted when sometimes you did fall or struggle. How was that for you? Did you like get discouraged and like, it was very oh, should we even share? Yeah, it was so like, upsetting at times. We'd be like, dang it. Like mm -hmm. this happened again. Like what yeah. are we doing wrong? Mm -hmm. um, and it happened twice, right? At least twice. Yeah, it happened. happened a couple times yeah. where mm -hmm. we, we like, just let, once you start letting yeah. those boundaries slip, you just are like, okay, well, mm -hmm. it's fine. Like, we already messed up. Like, yeah. we'll just keep going. It's okay for yeah. just this one time. And then that's how the devil gets you. Yeah. And so um, I feel like once, um, ironically, once we got baptized, mm. I feel like yeah. after that, um. It didn't happen, I don't think, at all, no. really. I, baptized I think, and proposed, too. Yeah, yeah, baptized and proposed. Yeah. Well, because, like, like with Mariah, how she said, you guys are going to have been engaged for seven months before mm -hmm. you get married. For us, when you when we've devoted ourselves to Christ, it was, I would say, like, I really started, like, because I don't necessarily have a specific day. It was really co over the course of mm -hmm. time where yeah. it wasn't just, like, Now's the time where I'm like, yep, this is mm. it. Like I was I was waiting for that moment to be like, yeah. Now I'm born again. I think that was when I was mm. baptized where I was like, okay, this is mm. this is serious now. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I have made a commitment, like a yeah. legit commitment, but for her it was October 14th is what she said. October right? 4th. 4th, okay. Yeah. Mm. So, but when we initially started doing um our n renewed courtship under the the guidelines of the Lord, yeah. like if you think about it this way, like we started in like really started doing this in at least November. Mm. So I think we sat down with um, Veli and David. Veli and David were our, d they discipled us. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and um, I think that was in like December or January or something like that. Was it that late? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like around so seven months. So if you think about months. it that way, it was at, at mm -hmm. least. Yeah. So it was six, about six, seven, six, six to months. seven months at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's you got what, this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it's cool seeing another couple like you guys. Cause I think you had talked to Ryan. You're like, and Ryan told me that he was like, Austin was even telling me how he's like, he would just have to hold her hands. Like how he hold like, um, like a sister. And then also mm -hmm. just like a quick hug. And we used mm -hmm. to do that. And we did that more. And then we were just like, well, it's, it's fine. Like it's not like getting us to a place, but it's like, why even, let yourself get to that place and then pull back. It's mm -hmm. like, just don't even get close to the line. Like, it's don't exactly. even flirt with it. Don't, don't yeah, even, don't, flirt with don't it. arouse love before it's time. And, and then, um, so going back to you getting baptized, both of you guys, mm -hmm. um, that's also when you proposed to her. So yeah. mm -hmm. you guys want to share that day and just, yeah. you said that was a, I had talked with, it was uh, such a huge day. It was mm -hmm. so fun. I was it, trying to find the right day mm -hmm. without being, like just a random Friday or whatever, <laughs> make it special, right? I was yeah. like, well, what better a day than the day that we get yeah. baptized again? Amen. Yeah. With our own, like, I, I mean, I, I was baptized as a child, and so was she. Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. like when we were Levi's age, mm -hmm. he's only four months old. Doesn't he doesn't know like, his sin. Pastor yeah. Craig doesn't have that. Like, we, we, he talks about how you, it has to be a has to be, has to be your own decision. Mm -hmm. Levi can't make decisions for himself. Like, no, neither could we. Mm -hmm. So when we made that decision to get baptized again, and I, she told me she was going to do it. I was like, well. I gotta mm -hmm. do this too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in the same boat she is, so I I gotta do this. Yeah. And that's when I was like, "This is, this is mm -hmm. the perfect opportunity." Amen. Yeah. I didn't want to distract from the the uh, the event of being baptized again and mm -hmm. take away from that. But I feel like it was just gonna make that day mm -hmm. so much that yeah. much better. Yeah. Yeah. On Easter Sunday, mm -hmm. the day we got oh, baptized, yeah. and yeah. the day we I proposed so to cool. her. So. Yeah. It was a Perfect. fun day. I I remember in January was when we really like decided okay we are going to get married yeah. um we started looking for rings mm -hmm. and it was it was such a fun time mm -hmm. and um I remember trying to figure out when he was gonna propose I was <laughs> like okay so it could either be this day this day or this day and I was like I hope it's sooner than later mm -hmm. and it's like I, w I just want to mm -hmm. get married mm -hmm. like we had set the day like we knew 
June 12th. Well, I mean, we already we... bought the ring. Mm-hmm. You and I yeah, went and picked out in... the ring already. So you, yeah, I, you... well, we had like three rings picked out, and you decided from those three rings which one you were gonna buy. Um, so I had an idea of which mm-hmm. one I when I was gonna get, it's and it was funny time. because I remember, um, in January we were gonna wait until November 11th to get married. So oh. it was 11, 11, 21 because we wanted to have that fun thing Mm -hmm. um but we're like no No, we cannot wait that long it's not worth it we'll push it back so we had the day um june 12th only half a year yeah (laughs) only six (laughs) months it's fine we we didn't have to wait five more months Mm -hmm. but um it was so funny because um i was like watch it be watch it be easter sunday (laughs) when we're going to get baptized. And it was so funny because I was so excited because my mom and my sister had come mm. and I was like, oh, this is so fun, like Easter and they're going to watch us get baptized and all this. And um, I was like, okay, if Austin goes first, mm. then I'll get dunked and then he'll be there popped open the ring and I was like that's how it's just gonna go Mm -hmm. and it did not I ended up getting baptized before him which is I think kind of cool because I was the first to really Mm -hmm. give my life and then he did Mm -hmm. eventually um uh, just about a month later Mm -hmm. and so it was really cool to see how God used that time to actually humble me Mm -hmm. um and be like no like It's going to be my timing, not your timing, mine. And so then after we got baptized, I was like, oh, okay. It didn't happen. Dang, like it didn't happen. So when is it going to happen? We have like two months before Mm -hmm. we're going to get married. And then um, Veli and Morgan were like, hey, we really want to pray for you guys. Um, Because they were, they started discipling us, um, but also for marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. And um. So I was like, oh, okay. And Veli had the ring, I right? I had pre-coordinated this with Ravel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I were, I think when we showed up on that Sunday, I had told her when I was going to do it. And I told her we would just, we would kind of figure out a time and a way to like kind of weasel it in there. Mm-hmm. Because I we didn't really have a set, this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> it was figured out like basically like that day from what I remember. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But, um, and I gave her the ring at, I think at some point during the, during the church service and before the baptism had started. And then I think it was one of uh, Morgan and Ravel's ideas that mm-hmm. I forget who had recommended that they had do. I think it was Ravel had told me we should do a prayer. Mm. And then I was like, well, that's a good idea. Mm. I'll like, we'll get her, everybody have their eyes closed. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect opportunity for when she opens her eyes, I'll be right there. That's, that's exactly awesome. what happened. So yep. yeah. God and bless. I t- Totally did not expect that moment. Mm -hmm. Like I I had a feeling it was going to happen, but I didn't know exactly like Mm -hmm. when it was going to happen. Yeah. And so I was very, cause God convicted me, um, a a way, way, way back when I first started, um, really giving like having that relationship with God. He was like, Mm -hmm. um, you will bow down to me, close your eyes and Mm -hmm. bow your head in respect for the Lord. And I feel like that was with the kids or something. Cause yeah. we always are like, now clasp mm-hmm. your hands, mm-hmm. bow your head and close your eyes. And one day I was doing that, but there was something going on and the kids were running around. And so I was like trying to wrangle them and God's mm-hmm. like, you need to respect me. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> so I, from then on was like, okay, I really have to respect you. So I would yeah. really close my eyes and yeah, shut them hard. Tight. So when I opened my eyes and he was bent on one knee, I was like, like oh. oh, and I was like, I knew it. And I was uh. like, I don't even remember what he said. I really yeah. don't. I said your full name. I was like, Alexandra <laughs> Marie Behrens. He was like Will trying to get my me? attention. He's like, like Alexandra. <laughs> Listen here. I said your full name. Yeah. Because yeah. you told me that. You told me you wanted me to say your full name. Mm, yeah. So I do remember you that. You listen. Good job. <laughs> uh, I remember, yeah, that was just such a sweet day. And then Ryan and I actually got, he proposed to me on a baptism yes. day too. Uh-huh. That's really what makes cute. me happier than to see mm-hmm. these things coming Full circle. Line. Yeah. Full circle. Line. Yep. Everything's slowly, slowly yeah. falling in line. Amen. Everybody's getting married. Yeah. Getting engaged. Yes. I, I, it Soon makes, babies. Yes. Lord, we need makes more friends. <laughs> mm. And then it's just cool because Morgan and Val is just kind of going backtracking with the premarital. Um, 
Morgan and Val doing the same premarital for Ryan and I that mm-hmm. they did with you guys. I think it's called like two becoming one yes. or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I, the thing, the compliment Morgan even said, or Valley said about you, Austin, she was like, the thing about Austin is like when like we tell him something like that, he's like, wait, wait, I want to write this down. Or he's like, wait, can you repeat that? Cause I, you were like, so like, this was so important to you. Like I mm-hmm. want to do it right. Like I want to learn everything I can. And so what was that whole like premarital counseling? What was that like for you it was guys? Like homework for the week. Yeah, yeah right? it really was. At first, this is again, ironic. I, Stubborn, I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did not want to do it. I took yeah. offense to it. I was like, I don't mm-hmm. need premarital counseling. We can do this on our own. <laughs> like, who needs to tell me how I can be married? Mm. I was so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not about that. It's, yeah. the, it is more just to teach you about what the responsibilities are within mm-hmm. the bounds of the Lord. Yeah. With, as far as for the man and for the woman. But mm. it taught me a lot about where I was needing to step up myself mm. as the, like it taught me like okay as the man of the household you are the one who like kind of sets the pace for a lot of things yeah for how like how mm-hmm. dedicated you guys are going to be going to church what kind of uh studying you're going to be doing at home something that i need to be doing more of mm-hmm. myself um mm-hmm. you know the financial leader in the household who's going to be the financial leader in the household mm-hmm. that was like the one thing where i was like i was terrible with finances before i lived mm-hmm. paycheck to paycheck for many years mm-hmm not really caring how I spent my money, not saving. Yeah. And then like, okay, now I'm going to have a responsibility of having mm. Alex as my wife and I'm going to have to step up and like, God gave me that calling. Like, Hey, listen, you're going to be the one yeah. who's going to manage the finances. Yep. In the mm. house. That's good. Mm-hmm. You're bad with it now, but guess what? You're going to get good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It's time yeah. for you to learn. Yeah. I remember up. I was talking to Alex Filiberto's before she was kind of like, I might have to tell yeah. him I might break up with them. And she's like, the other thing is she's like, I don't know if he wants to have her finances come together. Mm-hmm. She's like, that was like concern to me. And I was like, Mm-mm. I was like, yep. when you're married, I was like, yeah. you guys need uh-huh. to do that. That's so important. Like, yeah. it's really important for them to lead in that and to you to submit to that because they're the head and Mm -hmm. you are like my dad jokes but it's not good that women think they're the neck and they can control and do it the thing is is like a woman is they're so safe under the protection of the man because god's protecting them and that when they submit to a man especially a man that you can now have peace that he submits to lord so if austin does anything wrong the first blow and the discipline is going to go on austin Mm -hmm. and so that's like a safe thing for a woman it's like cool like mm, i'm yeah. protected with that i just but austin over here is like <laughs> oh man i have the responsibility for this stuff but it, it, it forced me to really grow up a little bit yeah. yes like yeah oh yeah for sure. it's time to be the man of the household and i'm <laughs> still i am not a perfect husband you know just like how alex I'm not is not a, a perfect, perfect wife. wife no we that's are okay. perfect that's but now your parents yeah. yeah it's an opportunity to learn that's one thing i wanted to talk about too about the with the book is that i highly recommend that any couple out there that's going to mm. be getting married here soon yeah talk with yes. uh, mariah and ryan or mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. and alex and, and morgan and belly did it too oh yeah, yeah. so it's talk to us about us. it because it was such a great teaching moment mm-hmm. uh shoot there's another couple out here who was talking to me, I forget their names, um, that who did the book also, I believe. Mm. So, and they loved it. Now they're yeah. married too. So, yeah. um, it, and- it was a really good teaching moment. No. Oh, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Was it Tara and yeah. uh-huh. what's his name? Uh, shoot. I don't know. Jeff, Jeff and Tara. They no. did it. I want to say you're right. No. Is that his name? Yeah. I think so. Sure? I probably got it wrong. I'm sorry, Jeff, or whatever your name is. <laughs> 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 I think it is. But- I'm bad with names. <gasps> Oh, yeah, uh, they did that too. Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're a mom who's that's yeah. Baby. My brain brain farts. Uh, <laughs> but again, is that when you guys do that book, it taught me mm-hmm. a lot in terms of like being the spiritual leader of the household yeah. was something that mm-hmm. I knew I was going to be struggling with because I'm very independent with my my spiritual life, and that's not how you're supposed to be as a father, mm. as as a husband. Is that you are to lead your house's house in worship and yeah. studying the bible mm. and like how your dad does kind of gives you guys little like assignments to do mm. i love that idea yeah because it will eventually teach your children hopefully it, when it's done right will teach them to love god's word and yeah. like, to love to read mm. and that's something that i hope to do with levi and mm. alex where we can sit together as a family and we do it yeah. now too where we have a, a book that we read that we a where devotional the, yeah the devotional mm-hmm. book that we have that it talks mm-hmm. about where this woman in in her life where she struggled and we we can relate back to that in a lot of ways too because even Mm. with just just the short time of being married for only a year and a half you learn a lot oh yeah it's taught me a lot totally makes us humble as a husband and 
as weird as it is to say now as a father, mm. yeah. where like I can be doing better, but also where we're doing a lot of things right. Yeah. And it's reassuring. Amen. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's so funny. Um, if we didn't do that book, I feel like we would have struggled so much in mm. our marriage. We would have so many more arguments. Yeah. And that was a big thing, too, um, when we were first dating. Um, our arguments were so bad. Mm. Like Austin would lose his anger oh, control. Yeah. He would lose control. He'd get mm. so mad. It was kind of scary at times. Um, and then I would just shut down. Yeah. I, I was one where if emotions got brought up, I would start crying and I could not talk. Mm. I ended up starting signing instead. Um, <laughs> so, like, so <laughs> then he, and he doesn't understand <laughs> sign language, so it didn't work out, which no. was kind of frustrating. Literally speaking to but, me in a foreign language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you flipping me off? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because, um, once mm. we did do that premarital book, um, and we were able to have that, um, foundation and that solid firm foundation Amen. not just that tiny little sand mm. um, but that rock mm -hmm. hard foundation um, our arguments have been very little mm. and if we do have an argument it's about the situation mm. it's never towards each other anymore yeah. we did have one Pretty recently time. where I was really upset but it comes back to me but mm. I, I have a short temper when it comes to a lot of things. That's something that God has really worked through me, yeah, me really well. And it's and still continuing to, because I still mm -hmm. struggle with, with um, my emotions at times being frustrated with, you know, when Levi was born, things changed. Like I, oh, yeah. not getting sleep, you know, not, yeah. not knowing what to do as a new father, um, mm -hmm. brought back those emotions that I had kind of like learned to, to manage, but now I'm having to learn to manage them once again with now a baby mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we had uh, an argument maybe about a month ago and it took me a mm -hmm. moment to kind of step back and like, I am wrong. Mm -hmm. That's one thing to understand as a father and as a, as a husband that understand that you're going to be wrong at times oh, yeah. Yeah. and you have to own it. Mm. It is like how Pastor Craig says, and he sp yeah. spoke to me about this a lot, like not directly, but you know, when, during his sermons that, um, it is so much better for you to own your mistakes mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. just sit there and deflect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, it, yeah. Yeah, you were wrong, and accept that you're wrong, and apologize, but understand that you need to move on from that. Yeah, and yes. take steps Forgive in the forget. right direction. And yeah, to pray it's, to God oh, yeah. that you may not have these issues again. Yeah. So, especially with frustration, that I, like I said, I played football for many years. Mm. I was taught to take that whatever anger Hits I had something. during the day and just like just stuff it into a can mm -hmm. and rip it open when you get onto the field. Take yeah. your anger out on whoever you whoever is like done mm -hmm. you wrong that last play. Yeah, and that's something I didn't have when I stopped playing anymore. I didn't know how to handle my emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I would just stuff it up and eventually it would just mm -hmm. burst Explode. open randomly. And it just like the littlest thing would set me yeah. off. It would be something so dumb. Mm -hmm. I'd be like playing video games. I get mad or like she yeah. would say something. And like there was one time where this is just a testament to how good God is because I don't have these problems anymore. Mm. I, <laughs> I brought donuts over <laughs> and um, <laughs> this is before oh, Christ. Yeah keep in mind and her, her sister is like I, I think she had said she wanted a different type of donut i was so mad i threw my <laughs> phone as so hard bad. as i possibly could into a brick wall oh, and he bad. broke yeah. it I, oh, he had to go no. out and buy a new phone oh, yeah. so, you're like was it worth it i don't know yeah, <laughs> yeah, it a so testament bad. to how bad my temper really was <laughs> yeah like, little thing like just donuts like and i was like <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> so, like, yeah it so, wasn't about the donuts because no. that's where also Ryan and I realize is usually the problem is not the problem. It's something else that has been built mm -hmm. up or something that you haven't dealt with. And that's why yep. it's good to keep short exactly. accounts. Yeah. Like if you get annoyed or frustrated, you say it right away. I mean, mm -hmm. even if you're like, this could be bad timing, there's never a good time. No. Share mm -hmm. your insecurity, yeah. share, Hey, that kind of hurt me when you did that mm -hmm. communicate. But I love how the book said on our, know if you guys remember the one on communication but it says you can communicate your way all the way to divorce yes. it's Absolutely not just communicating oh, that's yeah. key it's with kindness and so the exactly. key verse was ephesians 4 32 it says be kind and compassionate forgiving mm -hmm. one another just as god and christ has forgiven you yep. and mm -hmm. so exactly. it's easy to just like vent like i am like you in that way i get really angry and the little things can get me upset but then i start realizing have i really given it all to the Lord? Have I sought mm -hmm. the Lord? Have I vented to him and like mm -hmm. thrown everything at him? No, I try to do that to Ryan and it's just not mm -hmm. healthy. Whereas going into the presence of God and just 
going at, like just yelling and getting upset. Like my favorite place is the car. And then I can go to Ryan and I'm still, there's probably a little bit of emotion still, but he doesn't have to take the full, like mm-hmm. everything. Cause mm-hmm. they're not meant to do that. No. Exactly. Like we think they're, they're our person and they can yeah. handle it. No, yeah. they can't. It's like, it's not of, healthy. You're laying a lot of, uh, you're bringing a lot of anger into the house. Yeah. Definitely. And then you're putting a double that, foothold, like, it says. exactly that foothold. Mm-hmm. You're starting Demonic. that foothold and making that separation between yeah. you two. And that's when you get close to divorce or yeah. separation mm-hmm. and having those emotions to where they are so um, uncomfortable. Yeah. But being able to just explain like, Hey, this happened today. Can we make sure this doesn't happen again? Mm-hmm. What can we do to fix this? What can mm-hmm. we do yeah. to make it better in the future? Mm-hmm. And just being humble and just forgiving each other in the moment. Yeah. Um, exactly. As you said, uh, because Christ forgives us like mm-hmm. that so yeah. easily. Mm-hmm. And so we should do the same because um, we are trying to strive mm-hmm. for, I mean, perfection. Perfect as and is, we so. are striving to want to be like Christ. And so um, we should be like that in our relationships too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and That's God good. is telling me to share this right now. Like I've only told a couple of people about this. Um, but again, like to show about like not just venting, but like understanding how to manage, like it talks about in the book, you can communicate yourself all the way to divorce. Yeah. And that's extremely realistic too. Cause if you don't understand how to communicate properly, mm-hmm. if you don't understand how to properly, um, not just communicate, but also solve your problems with each other and like really understand what's going on. Yeah. Because I had to look at within myself recently because I had, there's a moment maybe three months ago, not long after Levi had been born where Whatever excuse I might want to throw out there, I, we weren't getting a lot of sleep that night. He had been awake all night and just mad. Mm. And I was wearing my wedding ring. It's, it was made out of tungsten, right? And our our countertops in the kitchen are marble. And um, I was so frustrated. I was just like, wow. And I slammed my hands on the counter, right? Mm. My ring blew up. Wow. I kid you not. It, it exploded into a bunch of little pieces. And I was just my like. goodness. <sighs> like. I was so mad at myself Mm -hmm. that my own emotions could take control over me like that. Mm. And within five minutes, I was sitting there on my bed and God had told me, if you do not learn Mm. how to manage this, that will, that wedding ring will be an example of your marriage. Wow. You will be broken. Mm. You guys won't be together. You Mm. won't have, it's just, it's not going to work out. And I was like, that's where I had to learn to lay down. Again, I'm getting the chills. Mm. (laughs) My hair is standing on end. (laughs) Um, Is that, you have to learn to communicate with one another. Amen. You have to learn when to walk away. You have to learn when to, mm. yeah. like, even just the other night where I couldn't get Levi to calm down, just learn to kind of just take some deep breaths. Mm. Everything's going to be okay. God will handle <laughs> <laughs> the situation. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you everything will work out yeah. in the end, mm. whether it be when you're having a hard time with your sexual immorality mm. or learning when you should not be missionary dating mm-hmm. that's happened a couple of times we've been talking to some people here where they're missionary dating and yeah uh whatever issue you're having i promise you if you pray if you work with god mm-hmm. if you work with one another it'll work out in the end. Amen. oh yeah so. mm, thank exactly. you for sharing that i know that convicts me because the lord's like telling me like certain things Mariah, if you don't deal with now it's like it's mm-hmm. going to hurt you oh, later yeah. down that especially having kids because yeah. levi's I, gonna I had to do the um, exact same thing that Mm -hmm. you are probably going through right now. Um, But I remember right before we got married, um, there were a couple of friends of mine that um, were saying that they were Christian Mm. and they were living for themselves. They weren't living for Christ. And I had to tell them the hard truth. Mm -hmm. And um, like the week before your wedding, right? (laughs) That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. I was so proud of you. Yeah. I was like, That's- and, and it was awful too, because, um, of course the day that God told me to do it was after our, bri- my bridal shower mm-hmm. and after they helped make do everything such an amazing day, I had to tell them this hard truth and mm. ruined our relationship, yeah. ruined our friendship. And I haven't talked to them since. Mm. And, um, it was so hard, and I really do hope one day that she does come to the yeah. Lord and that um, we can become friends again because mm-hmm. um, 
I really do love her. And mm -hmm. I, that's why I did it. Yeah. And because it does talk about soul. it in um, Ezekiel. It talks mm -hmm. about if we do not tell people, especially if they are claiming to exactly be in, um, have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. um, and they are living in sin, if we don't tell them the truth, it can be on us. Yeah. And I mean, I don't want to get up to heaven and be like, mm -hmm. why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Like, why, why am I going to hell because mm. of something that you never said? Wow. Um, I want to be able to know that, okay, thank you for telling me. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you telling me this because now I know that I'm Amen. doing something wrong. Mm. And so having those really, really hard times right before we got married yep. was awful. It was awful. Mm -hmm. But I will have to say the amount of blessings that we have mm -hmm. had in our marriage have been plentiful. Mm. Like, praise God. Some hard yeah. blessings. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> yeah. But sure. that's where it's cool seeing is like, because I know we're past time, but just to wrap it up, like for people asking, because God redeemed you guys. Like mm -hmm. you, it's not like you can like get your virginity back, but your purity was restored. Mm -hmm. Like God yeah. did that. Even the times you're like, oh, we messed up or that. But right when you confess your sin, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive your of your sins and cleanse mm -hmm. you from all unrighteousness. And also talks about in James, if you confess your sin one another, you may be healed. And so God was healing your hearts. He was healing your relationship, mm -hmm. then restoring you for a marriage that would be set apart on fire for Jesus. And now God knew you were going to have yeah. Levi soon after. Yeah. And yeah. so that was like God preparing you to be young parents because you are young parents. Yes. Yes. And it's hard. I it look is. at you guys and I'm yeah. like, wow. I just look at you both. And like, even when you were just burping Levi and then you were like nursing him, I'm just like, you guys are like, amazing like god has done <laughs> such a work in you like yeah. i remember really seeing has. you guys before and like the struggle or this and stuff and just seeing what god has done in your life like that's yeah. a complete 180 like oh, from yeah. darkness into light like you guys are blind and now you guys are leading a young baby boy levi you guys want to talk about that a little bit and then we yeah. can also yeah. get in what you do at the church and like mm -hmm. what you serve yeah. and but what was that like was it worth the wait which yes, I would tell people yeah. too 100%. in that time. Oh yeah. If anything, it's sweetened the mm. whole ordeal. Yeah. It's God. like a, our wedding like night a, was like a wine. just mm. like leaving so a wine in a aged. cabinet, like yeah. untouched. Yeah. Mm. Right. The it's longer good. you let it sit, the more mm. sweet yeah. it's going to be. Not, not to say you have to wait a whole bunch of time, but the whole sentiment of just staying pure to your, yeah. each other yeah. and having that commitment, it feels so much better knowing mm. you had, uh, yeah, that more or less like worked through it, suffered through it, right? And like the the heaviness favorite. that you have before mm -hmm. marriage, it's, shame. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, the shame because the devil will like, oh, mm -hmm. it's so fun, it's do so it. exciting, do it, do it, and then you do it, and you're like, and he's like, why'd you do that? Oh, I like this you. sucks. Like I feel awful now, but in marriage, once it's done, you're like, this is amazing. Do like, <laughs> I'm so like. So so blessed to have mm. Austin in my life because mm. he's been such a huge rock mm. and um just to having that I mean just in general having him and being able to see him grow in what God's been doing is yeah. just so amazing and even since we've had Levi yeah. um he's gonna be five months next week wow. um just in that short amount of time, God's really worked in both of us mm. in like tremendous ways. And yeah. it's just so cool to see that like our testimony never ends. It just keeps yeah. going. Amen. And it's just so cool to see what God has done and then is going to continue to do. Yeah. Like I have no clue what's going to yeah. happen in our yeah. future. You'll but be back here like, sharing your story in yeah. five years. Yeah. So now, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll continue. It. Yeah. Give little uh, updates throughout yeah. the years. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You guys, there's yeah. so much that I feel like I'm like, oh, I want to ask you guys this or do this. So we're going to have to have you guys back on. I'm excited for that. Yeah. And, yeah. um, but the last thing, so, Austin now is head of security here, mm -hmm. security here at church, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Do you guys want to now share like what you do yeah. and yeah. where God is putting you? you? First. Yeah. Um, what you, what you 
full time. Children though. have always been a part of my life. Um, yeah. I've always, since I was younger, wanted to be around kids. Um, mm-hmm. I remember when my sister was born, I was two and a half <laughs> and I wanted to hold her and mm. love on her. Um, ever since she was born. And so um, God really called me to be in the children's ministry. And yeah. so um, that's what I started doing yeah. once um, Belly asked me. And mm-hmm. um, up until a week before I gave birth. <laughs> and um, then I also do the coffee bar yep. sometimes, which yep. is fun. I like barista. doing that because I always wanted to go to Starbucks and be a barista, <laughs> no, um, but mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to work there anymore mm-hmm. because of how liberal and crazy things are there. Yeah. Oh, um, I thought you were talking about the church coffee bar. I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, like, no, no, no. I <laughs> love Especially being... Mariah leading it. It's just really Honestly, not liberal. if oh, I could just put Levi put in, in the little um, carrier that I have you know and just be everything. like cooking yeah. or doing the coffee. Coffee, I totally would. Get the back thing. But you gotta get the back. Yeah, get the backpack. <laughs> you probably do yeah. the sandwiches. You might be able to get. Mm, yeah, that I might be able to do that. Or the cashier. I might cashier. Cashier. I could do that. Get one. And then yeah. you got a baby on you, so it makes people want to get something more. Yeah, we we'll could do that. Talk to the- yeah, I have to recruit you, recruit you again. <laughs> but yeah, Valley, every time she's like, Alex is just such a blessing and such a help. And you just have a heart to serve yeah. and to teach. And just, mm-hmm. it's just so cool to see what God has done in your yeah. life. So I'm yeah. so thankful yeah. for it. And then Speaking Austin. Of having a heart to serve. Uh, before I get into what I do here, I know it's uh, part of our topic here is that I encourage that anybody who has a calling to serve in some, like maybe you don't even know what it is. Mm. Really search yourself and talk with God and think about what things that you know you like to do or things that you know you are experienced in, yeah. whether it be you really know the word or you really like to pray or you really like to help people or provide advice or maybe you love working with children mm. or maybe you kind of like me have a knack for uh, protection. I like to, like yeah. one of my biggest callings in life is to protect Guns. those who cannot defend themselves, right? Amen. So like, it, mm-hmm. Probably there's 31. a quote, a quote. There's a scripture in John 15, 14, I believe, right? There is no greater love than this Amen. to lay down one's life for one's friends. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Gives me the chills mm-hmm. again. I will do anything I possibly can to make sure that everybody here still here, everybody here stays safe. Amen. But also, my point was that to make sure that if you have a calling to serve, find a ministry. Find yeah. there's, there, uh, here at Calvary, Thank there is you. so many opportunities to serve. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about it, too. Mm-hmm. And I encourage everybody to serve. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't have to. No. Mm-mm. But... Definitely do it because it's it's it's, uh, it's an excellent opportunity to surround yourself with people who are like minded mm-hmm. yeah. and have a love for Christ and mm-hmm. will help keep you accountable within your own life's issues that you're having at the time. So exactly. whether you're trying yeah. to get married or you're struggling with an addiction of some sort, mm. um, they will give you guidance and they will help Amen. you yeah. throughout every part of the way. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah, and it's your way of giving back. Like yeah. um, Christ redeemed us. Yeah, like we want to mm-hmm. do everything in our possible like our bodies Mm -hmm. to help um in any way shape or form like just humbling ourselves and being like we couldn't have done this ourselves Mm -hmm. so how can we show Mm -hmm. our appreciation for Mm -hmm. what you guys have done and that was me being in the children's ministry Mm -hmm. me helping in the coffee bar austin setting up the security team yeah and truly making sure that we are safe here at church amen we wanted to help out in any way and Mm. like it says um i forget exactly where but um we want to help refresh other people 11 25 yeah exactly and so then we can be refreshed and so that's just a continuous thing that we want to have in our lives Mm. and so um if you are saying that you are a Christian Mm -hmm. and that you have that relationship with God, you're going to show that good fruit Mm -hmm. and produce that. And you're going to want to serve. You're going to want to help out. You're going to want to fellowship. You're going to want to go to church. You're going to want to go and do these things because that's what God's called us to do. And that's what Jesus just wants everyone he died to do for his church yeah, your exactly. guys your guys marriage is a picture of christ in the church god died for his church and also it says to not forsake the fellowship of oh. believers especially as the day of the lord approaches and you know with protection security it's gonna get bad we don't yeah. know anyone at any time come in with a gun and so. just take people out and try to but we know that ultimately like 
you can't live in fear. You can't mm-hmm. live in fear. We do our best. And like, you've done an amazing job hey, with you. the security. So that's been such a blessing. And it's just There's more helped to be done. us. <laughs> yeah. There's more to be done. But it's just cool Always. because it's like, we know that ultimately, like, we don't have to fear because as Christians, now that you guys are, or living and, and not that you're perfect, but like you said, mm-hmm. Alex, be becoming perfect, being more like Christ and confessing. And if there's a, there's a sin, right. Keeping short accounts and mm-hmm. like getting right with the Lord. But it also just helps us realize like our eternity, like our home is in heaven. Like you guys, exactly. if someone did come to church and we, someone died, it's like, we're your Lord willing. I mean, we pray that they don't take out someone who doesn't know the Lord, but like mm-hmm. our thing, like you said, you know, the Lord now, Austin. So you're like, you would do that. And it's like cool having men who would be mm-hmm. willing to stand against a threat because they're yes. like, I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. I want to protect, right. Those who can't, it says in Proverbs, I think, um, I think it's 30 or 31, but it's like defend those who can't defend themselves. Mm-hmm. And I also love that about yeah, you. That's the first time I met you was the pro-life thing. That's what <laughs> yes, I was like. Yes, yes, yes it was. Yeah. Yes. Good human beings and as men and women of Christ that you do defend those mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. cannot be defended. Like yeah. even Amen. as Alex is a, is a mother and a woman to defend other children who may Amen. be having an issue. It is, everybody has their right. Exactly. Yeah. So but we all have our purpose. Here, and I really mm-hmm. love doing it. Uh, I encourage that if any men, I, I think it's okay for women to serve too within the security ministry, mm-hmm. obviously yeah. within the same bounds as other men do. So, yeah. but, um, I encourage anybody who's willing to serve to mm-hmm. come and talk to me. Yeah. I need more yes. people. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, All of the people. Shout so, out. Yeah. No, yeah. That'd be awesome. uh, but also I, I kind of started doing the security here as a, uh, on the side, like David mm-hmm. Catalano had encouraged that I serve within the church again for the exact reasons I just talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and, it was, I really enjoyed doing it. First starting out was usher security was kind of all one thing at, at first. And, uh, we did that for a while. I kind of worked the lights and I learned that I really liked doing it. And Tava was trying to kind of hand it off to somebody who really had a knack for it. And, yeah. uh, I was very blessed that he decided that it was me at first. Mm-hmm. I was sure I wasn't up for the task, but now having been doing this for a while, um, I really, I really enjoy doing it. I still question myself, like, am I doing a good job? You know, like, am I fulfilling my role oh, as, definitely are. as a leader, yeah. um, or, more or less within the church and uh there's always room to be made mm-hmm. more room to be or more work to be done yeah but i feel like at least i'm somewhat successful exactly. and i thank you for that but um also what was i gonna say uh well i'll just leave off of that right there now you go. Yeah. that's good well thank you guys that's yeah. been yeah. such a blessing just to have a conversation with you i don't feel like i've ever really done this so i feel like it was yeah. it was pretty natural because i'm like this is what Calvary Conversations been, is all about. It's been needed. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And yeah. blessing to me and to so many other people I know. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, I, If one of you guys want to pray for our listeners, you can do that. Yeah, can close out. Thanks, awesome. All right. Lord, thank you for giving us this time together to fellowship with Mariah and myself mm-hmm. and Alex. Uh, yes. It's a blessing that you give us this opportunity to do this. Thank you to Mariah for giving us this opportunity to be here and to talk about our experiences, mm-hmm. Lord. Um, I pray that what we talked about today may reach out and touch people yes, who are maybe struggling with these things within their lives, Lord, whether it be with servant, mm-hmm. servant leadership um, or within the bounds of their relationships they may be having with men or women. I pray that they hear this, Lord, and it really affects them in the way that you intended it to. Mm-hmm. Um, I pray that we may have a good rest of our week, Lord. I pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Well, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you like to listen to us, wherever your podcast, just type in Calvary Conversations. You can also follow us to check out our behind the scenes on Instagram at Calvary Conversations. And this is a listener supported. So if you like to donate, you can do that in the description below. And if you want to check out anything else, you can check out our website at calvaryconversations.com. Thanks so much, guys, and God bless.